Kate Middleton had to impress senior members of the royal family before marrying Prince William, but why did the Queen have grave concerns about Kate? Any couple who find their relationship becoming serious often have an awkward meet the family phase, but for Kate Middleton, there was an increased pressure when meeting her now husband's family. Not only did Kate have to impress her boyfriend's father, the future King of England, Prince Charles, but she also had to give a good impression to the current monarch, William's grandmother, the Queen. Despite now fitting in well to the royal family, taking on patronages and royal duties, there was reportedly a time when the Queen was not so keen on Kate. Some royal experts have claimed that when the Queen met Kate, she initially had grave concerns over her relationship with Prince William. Royal expert Katie Nicholl explained the Queen had not spent much time with Kate on the run-up to the royal wedding in May 2011, and was worried Kate didn't have a status of her own before their engagement. In her book, The Making of a Royal Romance, Katie writes, privately she had grave concerns and believed that Kate needed to have a job and an identity in her own right before an engagement was announced. Another royal expert, Phil Dampier, believed the Queen was worried about Kate's dedication to work, claiming the now Duchess of Cambridge was not doing enough. However, this could be down to William being protective of his future bride, not wanting to expose her to too much too soon. Mr. Dampier, who has been reporting on the royals for more than 20 years, said, Kate was William's girlfriend for eight or nine years before they got engaged and got married. There was a phase where she appeared to be doing very little really. The Queen once remarked Kate doesn't do very much so I think she had a fairly long entrance to the royal family. However, Kate did win over her husband's grandmother, reportedly through a shared love of the outdoors. Royal commentator Aaron Hill told People magazine, Growing up in the English countryside with a close-knit family, these are values that are really important to the royal family. The Queen loves the outdoors, she's happiest when she's wearing her tweeds out there, with her horses and this is something she shares with Kate. And William has longed for a close family since losing his mother when he was so young. Kate being very close to her parents, her siblings and Williams as well, it all comes together. Kate's love of the outdoors has led to her creating her own garden for the RHS Chelsea Flower Show in May this year. Kate designed the garden as a collaboration with the RHS and landscape architects, Andre Davis and Adam White, calling their creation back to nature. In an Instagram post, the Duchess explained her love of the outdoors and the impact it can have, writing, In recent years I have focused much of my work on the early years, and how instrumental they are for outcomes later in life. I believe that spending time outdoors when we are young can play a role in laying the foundations for children to become happy, healthy adults. Kate Middleton has a role that few people in the world can relate to, that of future queen. Although there isn't an exact guideline that the Duchess of Cambridge can follow, Sally Bedell Smith, the author of several biographies about Queen Elizabeth, reveals the secrets for success in the regal role to people in this week's issue. 1 be humble and discreet. That is the essence of being a member of the royal family, says Beto Smith. It's taking a leaf out of the book of both the Queen Mother and the Queen, who has this extraordinary ability to combine a regal quality with a palpable humility. The author adds that Queen Elizabeth gives speeches rather than interviews, while the Queen Mother gave just one interview in her life, the day after she was engaged. That kind of discretion works because otherwise you open the floodgates and counteract the majesty of the role, she says. 2. Maintain a consistent style. Princess Diana was constantly trying on new personae and new looks, says Beto Smith. She was in this hall of mirrors where she was always observing how she looked and reacting to it. She adds, the Queen and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall have long adopted consistent looks and so has Kate. The author shares that Kate is sensible about how she approaches fashion, including recycling her favorite pieces, sometimes years apart. And while she subtly changes her look occasionally, like trying out a lighter hue on her hair, she always returns to her trusted standbys, for example, her signature bouncy blowout. 3. Know your causes and avoid controversy. 
decades public life has centered around the well-being of children, from encouraging them to play outside to encouraging public attention on issues facing kids such as addiction, poverty, abuse and neglect. Gates speaks knowledgeably about her charities, and that indicates she is mastering her brief, says Beto Smith. She and William have adopted causes that can resonate with a large portion of the population and haven't sought to take controversial positions. 4. Embrace the countryside, and your in-laws. Queen Elizabeth and the rest of the royal family often escape London for one of their country getaways such as Balmoral Castle in Scotland. She grew up in Berkshire. That whole way of life is embedded in the way the royals are, says Beto Smith of Cape. It is part of savoring the outdoors and appreciating nature. That sensibility came easily to her. 5. Be a supportive spouse. Kate is secure enough without feeling compelled to overshadow William, says the author. In the case of Diana and Charles, it was a contest. He had been center of attention, and suddenly the supernova arrived and was taking up the spotlight. Beto Smith adds. It would be easy for Kate to slip into the foreground, but she is aware and mindful of that.